Welcome, Welcome back, back to our, our math spin and math, math studying video content together with your mathematics teacher, Sir Vince. Vince. And, and as, as what I have promised last time, this will this be, be the continuation of, of our series, series about, about functions. functions. So, so nung nakaraan, binalikan binalik natin ang functions, functions and we and also, also discuss, discuss how to, how to evaluate a, a function. function. So ngayon, so, ngayon, we will, we now, will now try, try to, operate to operate functions. So, pa so paano ba mag-operate ng functions up knowing, knowing on how, on how to evaluate, evaluate a, function. a function? So ngayon, so, ngayon alam, mo, alam mo na meron tayo tayong tayo apat, apat na base operations, operations and, that is, and that is the addition, the addition subtraction, subtraction, multiplication, multiplication and, and division. division. So we have four, so we have four major, major operations and that, and that operations, operations can, be used can be used in solving, in solving for, for functions. functions. Sabi mo, sabi mo ad lang, ad lang, kaya, 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 kaya basic. basic. But this time, but this time paano kung, paano kung ang alam mong operation, operation ay i-apply ia natin, natin sa function. Sa function. So, for our, so, for general, our rule, general rule, so I have here I have the four basic operations. Four operations. For, addition, for addition, let's say you have, let's two, say you functions, have two functions. You have the, you f, have of the x, f of x and the g, and of, the g x. of x. So, you have two functions. So, you have two functions. so paano mag-add? So, so, mag so, simple lang. So, simple lang. So, just, so just add the two terms add the two or the two, functions, or the two functions. Combine like combine terms, like and, terms simplify and simplify the equation. The equation. Same as, same for, as subtraction, for subtraction, for multiplication, for multiplication and, for, and for division. division. So, ganun na ganun lang. So, ganun na ganun na ganun lang. Kung dalawang function, you simply add, you simply subtract, add subtract, multiply, or multiply divide. or divide. And dapat, alam, and mo, dapat yung alam mo yung evaluating, alam mo yung mga basic, mo yung mga rules, basic rules ng math, junior high school, nung junior high school ka. ka. But observe, but observe sa ating division, sa ating division merong nakalagay na, nakalagay na g, g of x must not be equal, must to, not zero. Be equal to zero. Bakit ba? Bakit ano ba? ba ang nangyayari ano ba kapag ang, nangyayari ang denominator, kapag ay, ang denominator ay Example, 1 example over 0. One over zero. Anong tawag doon? Anong tawag doon? Anong tawag? Anong tawag? That's, that's undefined. Define. Very good. Very dahil good. Whenever, dahil whenever in a fraction, in a fraction the denominator the is denominator zero, is the zero, fraction will the be fraction will be considered as undefined. undefined. Walang ganon. Walang parang ganon. Kayo. Parang kayo. Ay. So, Ay. dapat, so, dapat g, of x, g of x must not be equal, to, not be equal zero, to 0. Para ma-divide natin, ma natin yung function. Yung function. Okay? So let's okay. try to solve so let's try some to problems, solve some dealing problems with dealing the basic with operations the basic operations on functions on functions. Let's start with our first so let's example. Let's start with our first example. If f of x is equal to 6x squared minus 12x minus 19 and g of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared plus 8x minus 1 Let's try to find let's try to find the f plus g and the f minus g of x. So, meron dalawang hinahanap. Si f plus g, tsaka si f minus g. So, basically, that's addition and that's subtraction. So, simulan natin, paano ba mag-add ng function? Let's start. So, in dealing with functions, especially addition of functions, so, you just need to add the given functions. So, para makuha si f plus g, simple lang, i-add mo lang si f of x plus the g of x. So, ngayon, meron tayo f of x na given at meron kang g of x na given. So, ang gagawin, just simply combine it using addition. So, add natin. So, f of x is 6x squared minus 12x minus 19 plus the g of x, which is yung x cubed minus x squared plus 8x minus 1. So, ayan yung buo. So, imagine, meron kang f of x plus the g of x. Now, anong gagawin? Sabi ko nung nakaraang video, in dealing with this one, you just need to arrange in ascending order. Dapat kapag mag-aayos ka, Nasa unahan yung highest degree. Tapos, combine like terms. Now, observe. Ano ba yung highest degree sa problem? What? Very good. It's x cube. So, kung mapansin mo, the highest degree is 3. So, yung x cube 
ilalagay mo lang sa unahan. Okay? So, ang nasa is x cubed. Ngayon, tingin. Ang nasa sa x cubed, sa power of 3, ang sunod ay power of 2. Ngayon, meron bang x squared or nakaray sa power of 2? Meron. Ilan? Dalawa. Ang gagawin mo doon, pagsasamahin mo yung dalawang yon. So, meron ka ng x cubed kanina. Ngayon, let's combine. Ano ba yung dalawang x squared? It's 6x squared minus x squared. So, ngayon, combine mo. 6x squared minus x squared, ilan? That's 5x squared. So, this will become x cubed plus 5x squared. Now, saan galing, sir? Yung negative 4x. Kaya napansin mo, meron ka dyang dalawang value of x. Meron ka negative 12x, tsaka plus 8x. Combine it, negative 12 plus 8, it's negative 4. And then, copy the x. And then, for the last one, is to combine all the constants. Yung number lang. So, may dalawang number dyan. That's negative 19 and negative 1. Pagsamahin mo lang. Ilan? Negative 19 minus 1. That's negative 20. So, for our f plus g, we have x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x minus 20. Okay? Nakuha ba paano mag-add ng function? Di ba? Simpleng-simple lang. Kung alam mo yung grade 8 math, babisikin mo na lang ang addition of functions. Okay? Sige, kopyahin, namnamin, at i-digest. Nakuha na? Nakopya na? Sige, we can move forward sa ating next example, which is subtraction of functions. So, same process, but this time, mag-iiba lang naman yung operation. Parehong-pareho ang proseso, but mag-iiba lang sa operation. Kung kanina plus, ngayon minus. So, gagawin mo lang, just copy the f of x, yung 6x squared, minus 12x, minus 19. Pero, kung napapansin mo, mayroon tayong ginamit na symbol dito. Anong tawag doon sa dalawang ganun? That's parenthesis. Mahalaga na mayroong parenthesis after nung minus sign kay g of x. Bakit? Because the negative sign or yung minus sign must be distributed doon sa ating g of x. Kapag hindi mo nalagay yung parenthesis, most probably, mamamali yung sagot mo. So, mahalaga na mayroong parenthesis sa g of x. Kasi maya-maya, yung negative sa labas will be distributed sa loob ng ating parenthesis. Para mas maging smooth at mas maging madali yung ating solving. So, let's proceed. So, anong gagawin? Kung kanina, dadaletso lang. Ngayon, ang unang gagawin is to distribute the negative sign. So, simple lang. Pasok mo lang yung negative sa loob ng parenthesis. So, negative times x cubed, negative times negative x squared. Ngayon, para hindi ka mahirapan, simple lang. Ganito gawin mo. Just simply change the sign doon sa g of x. Tingnan mo. Ano nangyari? 6x squared minus 12x minus 19 minus x cubed. Kung napapansin mo, yung g of x, lahat ay napalitan ng sign. Kasi nga, we are dealing with subtraction. So, yung dating negative, naging positive. At yung dating positive, naging negative. So, di ba? Yun yung dapat pinag-apit ngayon. Ngayon may pandemic. Dapat lahat ng naging positive sa COVID will be negative. At lahat dapat ng mga negative thinker is maging positive thinker. So, yun yung i natin sa buhay. Yun yung turo ni subtraction of functions. Ngayon, na mayroon ka ng mas simpleng expression or equation, kaya mo nang mag-operate dyan. So again, arrange mo lang siya in ascending order or degree. So unahin natin yung may x cubed, lagay mo lang sa unahan. Okay? Now sir, bakit naging 7x squared? Observe, meron kang 6x squared plus x squared. 
So 6 plus 1, that's 7x squared. And then, negative 12x minus 8x, negative 20x. And lastly, negative 19 plus 1, that's negative 18. So, imagine, halos same lang naman si plus tsaka si minus. Ang ano pinagkaiba nila, when we deal with subtraction, you just need to insert a parenthesis and change the sign sa iyong g of x. So, yun lang naman yung gagawin mo kay subtraction. But the process is the same. Okay? So, now, let's move on or move forward sa ating next example. Now, how about uh, multiplication or division of function? So, example number two, we deal with sub, uh, multiplication and division. So, if f of x equals x cubed minus 27 and g of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 9 and h of x equals to 4x minus 1, find f times h, f over g, and f over h. So, if you would notice, there are three given functions. May f, may g, at may h. At mayroong tatlong hinahanap. So, simulan natin doon sa una, sa f times h. So, basically, ganun lang din siya. You get the f, and then you get the h of x, tapos multiply. Okay, apply mo lang yung natunan mo junior high school. Pwede kang mag-distributive property, kung pwede mag-foil, you do everything na natunan mo nung junior high school. So, let's try to uh, multiply these two functions. So, let's copy f of x, that's x cubed minus 27, multiplied by 4x minus 1. And observe that we have two binomials. Now, the basic uh, to do kapag meron kang dalawang binomial is to use the FOIL method. First method, a first term, outer term, inner term, and last term. Now, kung hindi, hindi pa alam ang FOIL method, I will have a separate video for that. So make sure to subscribe, to like, and to comment down below para mas ma-update ka sa aking mga next videos. So, to FOIL, to use the FOIL, uh, multiply mo lang. So, yung first term, that's x cubed times 4x. So, ilan? x cubed times 4x, that's 4x raised to 4. Next, outer. Yun yung x cubed times negative 1. Okay? So, x cubed times negative 1, that's negative x cubed. Inner, yun yung negative 27, tsaka yung 4x. So, negative 27 times 4x, that's negative 108x. And for our last terms, negative 27 times negative 1, that's positive 27. And kung napapansin mo, meron bang like terms? Meron bang kailangan pagsamahin? Wala na. So, kung ang iyong uh, equation na maiwan ay wala nang kaya pang gawin, so, that will be your final answer. Okay? Now, let's proceed with the next example, the division, yung f over g of x. So, simple lang din. So, lagay mo lang siya in terms of fractions. So, equal siya sa f of x over g of x, which is equal to x cubed minus 27 all over x squared plus 3x plus 9. Now, observe that your numerator yung nasa taas ay pwede pang ma-factor out. Oh, so, we will apply grade 9 math. So, nung grade 9 ka, tinuruan kang mag-factor. Tama? So, I will have, meron na ako video for that. So, make sure na i-check mo yung aking uh, videos para Kung hindi mo pa alam kung paano mag-factor out, you can watch that video for your reference. Now, if we try to factor out this x cubed minus 27, we will have this one. x minus 3 multiplied by x squared plus 3x plus 9. So imagine, 
kaya pala ma-factor out yung numerator. Ngayon, meron ka bang napapansin sa ating fraction? May kapansin-pansin ba? Mayroon. Merong like terms both sa numerator and sa denominator. Kapwa sila mayroong x squared plus 3x plus 9. At ang gagawin para masimplify yan is to cancel out yung like terms. So, cancel mo yung parehas. So, pag kinancel out, anong may iwan? Ang may iwan na lang is x minus 3. Therefore, our f over g of x is x minus 3. So, imagine yung kanyang napakahaba na may factor factor out pa. Kaya pala siyang ma-cancel out at ma-simplify sa mas madaling equation, which is x minus 3. So, uh, dapat maalam ka sa factoring dahil iyon ay gagamitin mo. So, I assume na meron ka ng konting kaalaman about factoring kasi yun ay natalakay mo na nung junior high school math. Okay? I have some videos na naka-upload about factoring. Okay? So, for our last example, last na to, f over h of x. So, just simply need to substitute yung f tsaka yung h of x. So, ano f of x? x cubed minus 27 over 4x minus 1. Now, kanina, nung finactor out natin yung f of x, wala naman siyang pwedeng makancel sa 4x minus 1. Wala ka ng ibang magagawa kasi wala ka na makakancel. Kanina, that's why we factor out because kaya pang magcancel. Kaya pang masimplify yung fraction. But this time, hindi mo na siya kayang masimplify pa. Kasi wala na siyang common terms. So kapag ganyan yung given, sabi nga nila sana all ganyan para basic lang. So yan na yung sagot. Lalagay mo lang siya sa numerator over denominator. So, ganyan lang siya ka-basic. So, yan na yung ating final answer. Okay? Okay ba? I hope nakuha ang basic operation on functions. So, sana na-gets at nakuha nyo ang konsepto ng operations on functions. And, to try for yourself kung na-gets ba talaga yung lesson, Let's deal with this one. Ayan, mas medyo intense. So, given the following functions, operate or find the following. Okay? So, try for yourself. Comment down your answers below so that I can see and check your answers if you got the correct answer. Okay? So, thank you for watching this video and see you for our last videos sa series na to which is the composition of functions and make sure to subscribe here para updated ka sa aking mga lessons and this is your mathematics teacher Sir Vince and see you next video Bye!